Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick review of the Wacom One, which is this pen tablet. It is not a pen computer. Okay, so it's not running Windows. It is essentially an external display connected to my computer that has a pen enabled interface. I can give you the quick rundown in terms of the feel of this is fantastic. This feels very much almost like a piece of paper. It's responsive. The pen is pressure sensitive and is, is, very, uh, is very powerful. One quick aside on the not so positive is this setup is very cumbersome. And I find myself trying to flip between keyboard, mouse, and pen, and it is very unintuitive to start with. I don't know if over time this gets more intuitive, what I will tell you is if I'm going to use this, I'm going to spend the, the 10 minutes it requires to get everything set for this to use and then use this and then be like fully concentrating on this. Because anytime I pop away from it, I go look up at my, try and interact with my screen. Then I'm, you know, I'm having to reach over and do keyboards or move this out of the way. And it gets to be pretty it pretty, you know, it's painful at times. So what I've got is Microsoft whiteboard on this and this pen is set up. Now, one more physical setup thing I just want you to be aware of is this has got all these cables. So you've got an HDMI cable that goes into your docking station or somehow gets into your, it's a full size HDMI. This all ends up in this USB-C connector to the top of this tablet. You've also got two USB connectors. One is supposed to go into the hub or your, your computer. And the other one is supposed to go to power. I thought, well, let me see. I've got powered, you know, these are all powered hubs. So I plugged them both into here and they work just fine and they power this. Okay. So I'm going to move this all out of the way so that it's, so getting all this set up is going to be an effort every time I want to use it. So this is not a casual thing. This is not an iPad where you flip it open, you hit the thing and you start drawing. This is okay. I got to connect all the cables. I got to make sure my displays are arranged. I got to get the app open. I got to drop it down here and now I can start using it. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about what it's like on, I'm going to focus on Microsoft whiteboard. So I've got my pins up here and I just tap on the color and you essentially have these pins and this is pressure sensitive, which is nice because I can do a light line and then I can do a thicker line and then I can vary that across. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to erase those. Those aren't great. Um, so if I were to draw some an architecture, all right, so I've got this architecture I'm working on right now. Okay. Um, this is not bad. Okay. All right. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm digging this. Let me say it. Let me say it positively. I'm digging how this feels. Uh, this feels very much like I'm using an I iPad with a pencil. And uh, so I am. Um, I do see every so often that, you know, and, and, you know, by the way, you've got this. It's got side and up. Okay. So you can, you can get thicker by leaning it down. And anyway, so stop, stop on that. Um, I do see every so often this gets out of alignment with the display. It doesn't ha it, it happened really bad at first, but then it turned out there was a big firmware update that needed to happen. And I, I processed those firmware updates and it's been spot on ever since. Um, so yeah, I, I'm thinking this is, uh, yeah. This works out. This works nicely. Okay. So if you're willing to put up with the cables and 
the connectivity and kind of the awkwardness it it's uh, it works really well if you're wanting to do this like screen sharing you could do a screen share and um, screen and share this now most of the video conferencing things start to stutter a bit when you have multi-monitor and other settings but i think they've improved that dramatically over the last six months or so you could record this you could use camtasia or QuickTime Pro or sorry, QuickTime Player or something like that to record it. Now you'd, you'd have to set up all the things here. So there's a, you know, it, it's not a natural part of the workflow necessarily, but it doesn't take up a huge amount of space. You can tuck it to the side. There's a power button here. You power it off and it now you're now back to this. You could have a little slot over here and drop it in and off you go. So out of a 10 stars, I'd give it a six to seven. I wouldn't give it any higher than that um, right now. Well, with particularly with Microsoft Whiteboard, I wouldn't be able to go any higher than that. And if there's different whiteboarding software that I could use that would have more options, um, then I'd probably go higher. And I'm probably gonna continue to look for those since I am working on making recommendations. Right on.